What's up, Silver Screen Dudes? We are coming to you once again live from the Danger Room. Indeed. <laughs> and it is another best and worst episode for you guys, the Silver Screen Dudes. And this week, in honor of Dunkirk, which, if you haven't seen it, please click the link above AJ's head because Dunkirk is awesome. Go check it out. But if you haven't seen Dunkirk, irrelevant, we're here to talk again, like Nolan, one of the best directors working today. In this case, one of the best actors working today. Tom Hardy. Indeed, Mr. Hardy. Mr. Hardy, fantastic actor who has gone from strength to strength as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You can't, there's not a lot of work you can knock from Tom Hardy, but there are and we will. <laughs> there's not much though. There's not much. There's, not there's much. really there's not much. much. Now, why don't you start with the best this week? Okay, starting with my best. Okay, you know what beats Tom Hardy in a film? Tom Hardy twice in a film. Legend. Oh, legend's a good shout. Yeah, legend. I'm um, the Cray Twins. Like, he, 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 I remember seeing the poster and I'm like, hold on, has Tom Hardy got a bro? And no, it was him playing both parts. He completely played both characters as diverse as they were and de delivered as much as you could possibly ask of an actor to play two twins, two notorious twins in the history of British gangsters as you were. And it was fantastic. I, I, I remember watching this film and saying, wow. Wow. And I mean, May I please, as much as I'm mentioning my best, can I just mention a few honourables? Yeah, yeah. Inception, Dark Knight Rises, Mad Max, The Revenant, I, Warrior, you know, they, they go on and on. But yeah, for me, as I said, Tom Hardy twice, if you, what would you want? <laughs> such a fantastic, such a fantastic actor, we throw him in twice, so for me. Reggie or Ronnie? Oh, I'm gonna go with Ronnie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ronnie. I'm gonna go with Ronnie. That ain't right. We Ooh. weren't brought up like that. That ain't right. <laughs> nah, I love him. Yeah. I'm gonna have to confer to my notes as always for the best because I've got a lot of Tom Hardy movies that I love. Um, oh, God, where to begin? So I nearly went with Inception, which if you saw the Nolan uh, Best and Worst last week, link above AJ's head, check that out. Uh, nearly went with Warrior. I nearly went I with Warrior. I thought Warrior was gonna be Warrior. I thought gonna Warrior be. was gonna be my one. Um, nearly went with the legend. The Revenant where he out acts Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio won the Oscar, fine. But I still believe that was almost a pity Oscar. It's like, we've <laughs> screwed you so <laughs> many times, Leo. Take today, the Oscar. Today, it's you today. <laughs> but Hardy was better than Leo in that movie, I have to say. Um, Loke, I don't know if you've seen that. No, no. What's Loke about? Loke's about Tom Hardy in a car for 90 minutes. And it's incredibly engaging. Okay. It's unreal. Okay. Interesting. No, my best has to be, it's another gangster one, Bronson. Oh my God. Every actor's got that one movie where they are so out there, so good, that if people either haven't heard of them or dispute their quality, you have a go-to movie. With Christian Bale, it's The Fighter. With Tom Hardy, it's Bronson. Him playing one of the most notorious prison inmates of all time and just the rage and madness that this guy displays. He was so believable and for a role like that, you can make it hammy. You could have easily overdone it. Any other actor I think would not have achieved this. This was an exclusive Tom Hardy role and if you want to see the full range of his powers, check out Bronson. Okay. I'm guessing you haven't seen it. I haven't, that. unfortunately. Oh I haven't man. I've list of mentions, but I, I, these are potholes and I'm always worried, I'm always, delighted for a show like this, for your info and knowledge to be shared and imparted with me and the rest of the screeners out there. So. And likewise, exactly. But now on that note, let's go worst. This one wasn't actually hard. I, I remember going through the list and thinking what I said. And I this one came out what you're going with. This means war. I thought you were gonna yeah, do that. I, 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 do you know, it's one of those things, you see the cast, you see the trailer, and you think very funny, funny. and just, did not, it, you had the element of it could be like a Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of spies dating yeah. and all of this kind of comedy. And it just didn't deliver. I remember really like, it's coming, it's coming. It didn't, it's coming, it didn't. It, it, possibly one of the worst comedies I've seen, let alone worst Tom Hardy. Yeah. yeah. That's fair enough. Uh, it, I nearly went with This Means War. That's my dishonorable mention, but I actually only saw it recently, specifically because we were going through this list. I was like, haven't seen that. Let me check that out. You're right. It's not great. There was one scene that did have me rolling, though, it was when they were listening to her and she went, he's got really small hands, and Hardy just goes, ta ha 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 That <laughs> killed me. It, it had some parts. That killed me. Wrong, but for what the, the, the trailer had me thinking I was going to see, I just didn't see it. I did yes. giggle. I'm, I'm not that bad. I did yes. giggle, but I didn't laugh, you know. Yeah, I would do My worst is when I did not giggle in at all. And you would think to look at the cast, it's one of the greatest 
possibly of the last 20 years, I'd say the greatest all British ensemble cast. You've got Benedict Cumberbatch, Mark Strong, Gary Oldman, Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy. Fuck <laughs> me, that movie was boring. Ugh. Now, I'm sorry, I've wrong. never read the books. That's fair point, because I, I know people are going to shout at me, you haven't seen the book, you haven't read the books. Like, no, I haven't read the books, you're absolutely right. But I still managed to guess from the first 30 minutes who the fucking spy was. It was like, and you're good. And I appreciate what they were trying to do, make it very subtle, make it very toneless, make it unemotional. Pretty much exactly as I would imagine a spy case is being conducted. And Gary Oldman does no wrong and he was very good in that, as were all the British cast. But the movie into itself, Tom Hardy wasn't bad in it. God, the movie was boring though. It just dragged and dragged and dragged. If you're gonna do a movie like that, I believe it needs to be a bit of a roller coaster. Some little glimpses of action and then keep you in suspense. Now, the problem is there was no action, which is fine. Movies don't all have to be action, but there was no suspense. There was just no suspense. Do something, please. You Imagine if you did a Pulp Fiction movie and you took out the dialogue. All of a sudden, it's not such a good movie. And that movie would be called Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like yourself, I haven't read the book, so oh, it's hard, right. to, hard to... Have you seen the film? A part. I, I, part? I, you couldn't get through it! Part. He couldn't get through it! Right, shall we do the Rotten Tomatoes official best and worst? Okay. Um, okay, I'm just seeing if there's any little asterisk, asterisk, is, asterisk is, like last week. Asteroid, maybe? Asteroid, <laughs> like last week. Uh, yes, so... The best is technically a movie called From the Ashes, which is 100%. Okay, but? But he's just the narrator. So! Yeah, not a technicality, okay. So if you hadn't got that, I wouldn't have bitten your head off. Um, the worst has not been mentioned. That's your clue. I think I'm, it might be one that very nearly made my worst, actually. The best you mentioned in passing as an honorable. So why don't you have a stab at the worst? <sighs> Layer cake. Oh, fucking good shot! I forgot he was in that. <laughs> yeah, so did I, until I like, went through the list and that. No, it's that not was a film cake. that really killed me, actually. Um, okay. Immensely rewatchable. Really? Surprisingly rewatchable. Really? Uh, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. I Give it another try. I mean, it's, yeah, it's much better on second viewing. Oh, uh, possibly, okay. Give it a try. Uh, no, the worst is actually a movie that was on Film 4 recently, Child 44. Okay. Not heard of it. I didn't no. watch it, unfortunately. No, I, just, I saw the trailer. It didn't appeal to me. 25% for that one. Okay. Um, the best you did mention in passing. I was going to say Inception, but I'm going to go with The Revenant. Oh, that would have been a good shout. No, mate. It's not. No score for you this week. <laughs> the, his official best, which is a movie I find to be really overrated. Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> okay. I, no, I, I'm glad this came up. Quick Man tangent! <laughs> Man Max, they are good. They are good. But I'm still oh, yeah. leaning to the original. And Absolutely! I think that, that's just where it leans for me. I, I can understand the appreciation, but I, I still lean on um, Mel Gibson. Yeah! yeah 100%. Go original, so I that's, don't that's think Tom Hardy was given enough to do in those movies. Again, you just spent the whole movie going, mm. <laughs> it was very Neanderthalic. Yeah. I thought Charlize was amazing in that yes, movie. Yes, yes. Um, well and I, you know, I like the fact that it was this 71 year old director in uh, George A. Miller who basically said, what if Mario Kart was a movie? <laughs> <laughs> because that's basically what it is. It is Mario Kart the movie. movie yeah. It's like, I'm sure that there's some genius on YouTube, some editing genius, who must have done some of the chases with red shells and blue shells. <laughs> it must have been done. It must have been done. Why not? Why not? And if I find it, I'm going to stick it in the description below because that would be worth a laugh. Why not? Okay. That's Unfor that. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But guys, please, as we said, there's a wealth of films to love and hate. What is your favourite Tom Hardy movie? What is your least favourite Tom Hardy movie? Please comment below with that. Either way, give us a like, because that's what the Silver Screen dudes appreciate. And until then, Nico. Until next week on Wednesday, for me, Nicolo. And me, AJ. We got there in the end. See, See ya. ya.